Video 13, Section 2, uh, we're going to take a look at some fungi and types of fungi in this section. Uh, first one we'll look at is truffles. Um, truffles are a very expensive fungi uh, humans use as food. And in the past, it was common for pigs to be trained to hunt truffles because their sense of smell made it really easy for them to detect truffles under soil. It's been said that a pig could detect a single truffle buried three feet deep. Um, however, these days, it's a lot more common for people to use dogs to detect truffles. Um, and it isn't because dogs are better at finding truffles. It's because a person walking a dog is, uh, arouses less interest than someone walking a pig. And uh, truffle hunters are very protective of their uh, truffle locations, and they don't want people uh, taking a look. So uh, they kind of disguise their activities by using dogs. Um, here's a photograph of some truffles, not very appetizing looking uh, in this form. Um, anywhere from the size of uh, uh, walnuts up to the size of, uh, you know, small apples, perhaps, uh, selling for uh, hundreds to thousands of dollars per pound. Uh, the next type of uh, fungi we're going to look at are the basidiocarps. These are the most conspicuous um, and familiar uh, fungi, and they produce the most conspicuous and familiar fruiting bodies uh, mushrooms and bracket fungi and things like that. So uh, morels, another uh, very tasty uh, edible fungi are uh, in this family. Um, notice the uh, cap with all of the perforations and all of these spaces. These are the areas where the spores are produced that are going to come out, germinate, and form new uh, morel organisms. They're born on a stem, just like uh, the other familiar mushrooms. <clears throat> Here's an amanita, or a fly agaric type of mushroom. Notice here, there aren't any openings on the top of the cap of the mushroom. This one has its openings underneath uh, in structures called gills. So the spores are born inside this cap, and then when they're released, they're essentially released straight down. There's another fungi called a bracket fungi or a shelf fungi sometimes. Um, we see these growing uh, often horizontally on uh, infected trees and pieces of wood. Quite colorful, um, and they can be quite large. Some can be several feet across. Uh, here's a fungi called a giant puffball. Again, this is the spore producing or reproductive structure of this organism. Um, no cap or uh, no stem here. It grows directly on the soil. And this entire thing uh, produces spores, but the spores are produced inside. There's no direct opening to the outside. Once this ripens and matures and the spores are ready to be released, this um, outer shell is, uh, will become essentially paper thin and uh, quite brittle. And if it's uh, disturbed, kicked by an animal, or um, hit by uh, severe enough raindrops or, or hail, um, the spores come flying out through any openings or holes made in the, in the surface. It's called a giant puffball. Um, how large is it? Uh, pretty large. This one is uh, bigger than a 16-inch uh, softball. They can be as large as a uh, basketball. Um, this is a fungi that's also edible. 
but only in the state where it's all pure creamy white like this, once it starts to uh, turn brown, um, it's lost its edibility and it's uh, developed the spores inside. But in a case like this, it could be uh, cut into slices and fried or grilled or whatever. Here's one called a stinkhorn. Um, it's called a stinkhorn for good reason. Um, this cap produces a mucus, and you can kind of see the shine of it in this area here, um, which has a really foul odor, um, sometimes smells like uh, animal manure, sometimes smells like rotting animals. It depends on the species, but it attracts these flies and ants, other creatures that would be attracted to decaying uh, animals or animal waste. They crawl around on it looking for the animal or animal waste um, and pick up spores on their feet. Um, then when they fly somewhere else, these spores drop off and that's the way the uh, stinkhorn uh, spreads its uh, spores around. 